Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, everybody, I hope you're having a great Monday, right? Um, I'm here checking in behind the scenes, right? Seeing what's going on with the energy. I'm picking up on a song that's kind of confusing to me. So, take what resonates, right? Leave the rest behind. You guys know the drill. And thank you so much, everyone, for all the kindness. You guys are just so nice to me out here. Thank you seriously thank you for that it is it's you know it's a rarity um isn't it like people being this good to you thank you so much for everything you guys all the awesome comments i love your comments and um and uh, the confirmations keep them coming and thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much for joining the soul tribe and welcome to everybody new here welcome um, you guys, I am getting my daughter's cold. Oh, I've got to say, I'm feeling really cruddy today, okay? <laughs> I really just want to curl up in a ball on the couch in a blanket, you know? <laughs> Watch some old movies. I'm just not feeling the greatest. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry if I sound really snorkely. But anyway, um, I'm picking up on a song. And I honestly, I got to say, I don't like the song, so I don't know the words to the song. Okay, it's Sammy Hagar, one, two, three, lockbox, one, two, three, lockbox. It's just playing over and over again in my head. Um, and I, I don't know what this means. Um, it kind of feels like somebody has been stuck in their head thinking about you. This person may even be facing some jail time, okay? They could go to jail. Um, I'm also feeling like with the threes, one, two, three, right? Three to me is being on a divine path, being on the right path. And I feel like there's a person who's waking up to this. They're waking up to, you know, this connection is bigger than them. It's bigger than you. Um, th there's a love connection here that they can't seem to let go of. Even if they're having some bad luck and getting karma in their life right now, because I feel like this person could be facing jail time, um, they still can't stop thinking about you and this connection. And it's almost like they're figuring everything out. Um, they're figuring it all out that this connection is, um, like, a, it's very intense. It's valuable. This person is maybe realizing your worth and value here, something like that. Something about you, um, like this person is starting to realize that, you know, um, something about worth your weight in gold or something about gold. I don't know. Yeah, the gold, pentacles. Maybe you're extremely abundant now. Maybe you're, um, you're very successful, very abundant. They could be thinking about all that they lost, you know? This person could actually be locked up in jail right now, thinking about all of this and figuring it all out, that this was a divine connection, I feel. It was a divine connection, and you were a true blessing in this person's life. Um, but they didn't see that before. Okay, now this person is realizing your worth and value. I feel like spirit has this person in like hermit energy, you know? They could be on lockdown in a jail cell, or they could just be in a mental prison. Okay, take it how it resonates. Anyway, ooh, there's a card that's flipped up. Yeah, twin flame soulmate connection here. This person is realizing this. They're finally figuring everything out about this connection, why they can't stop thinking about you, why they can't seem to get over you. This person is somewhere kicking themselves for, um, for losing you, collective. This could very well be a Gemini, or you could be a Gemini. Another one is flipped up. I feel like this person has pushed you away. You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I'm getting that they listen to other people kind of maybe talk them out of this relationship. And now they're, 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 they're wanting to defend this now. 
they're wanting to go against everybody else's opinions and get you back okay yeah I don't know what the something about gold yeah look they're choosing a new path right they want to get on the right path now this is somebody having um, a sudden realization this is that epiphany this is them finally figuring it out oh my gosh this was my twin flame this was th you are a divine being in a twin flame soulmate connection that you're walking away from you're walking away from this connection and you are the blessing you're holding the ace of cups in your hand you are a blessing in love yeah this person is realizing this Ooh, big shocking tower moment okay where they put all the puzzle pieces together this connection is a divine connection it's bigger than than them they're never going to be able to get over you yeah and you're moving on look you're out here having a victory look at this you're in ten of pentacles energy and i feel like it's just for you so you could be extremely successful, making good money. They could see you making really good money in the future, okay? You could have your own public platform on the internet somewhere, a website, a YouTube channel, a blog, something like that. Whatever it is you're doing, I feel like you're creating generational wealth, a whole lot of stability whatever it is that you're doing this person sees you as being extremely abundant masterful and skilled at whatever it is that you do um leveling up yeah and they're over here stuck in their head about you all emotional realizing that they lost out on on the blessing in their life okay you were like the blessing when it comes to love. And they pushed you away. I feel like they listened to other people's opinions. There were other people involved in this connection, it feels like, that did not want this person with you. I don't know why. It may have something to do with how spiritual you are. You know, your, um, your spiritual beliefs. Your, it, could ha it could have been anything. But people, there was a group of people that did not want you two together. Um, and I feel like it's a group. It could be a family, like maybe their family was against this connection and they listened to their family. Now they want to take a stand. Now this person wants to defend you. You could have been dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, heavy Scorpio energy. They're seeing you in a time of celebration, okay? Being divinely led and protected. Look at this. For some of you, this person, um, and this is very specific, okay? This part is very specific. For, for someone here, they may see you maybe getting engaged or getting married to someone else and moving on that's got this person absolutely wrecked um very emotional over that for whoever this is for because i'm seeing this as a commitment i'm seeing this as a celebration yeah and you moving on so somebody here is getting married okay to somebody else to someone new not for everyone though that's very specific yeah but it's uh, this person is an emotional mess over you all right and they're having to sit somewhere i feel and think about this yeah somebody here is getting married yep and it's over for them you're you could be getting married or engaged or just starting something with someone new maybe moving away as well oh my gosh this person i'm telling you this is this is that feeling like that it's giving me that feeling like when you when you're on a roller coaster 
and you go over the top, you know, of that um, where your gut just kind of comes up to your throat. You know what I'm saying? It's that kind of energy. This person feels sick over this. They do. They could be having some stomach issues um, from the stress, from the anxiety, and just the thought of all that they lost here. It's almost as if a whole group didn't think you were good enough or they could have thought that you were weird, right? Because I'm seeing you as a divine feminine and we are the weirdos, mister. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm hearing from the movie The Craft. We are the weirdos. Um, yeah, so they could have, uh, there was a, a group of family, I don't know, that just didn't want this person with you. They listen to the wrong people, you know. This could be somebody who doesn't like to make decisions on their own. Maybe they don't trust themselves or they could even have a low self-esteem and be hiding that. And they've always listened to the same people kind of lead them through life. These people led them down the wrong path. And they see it now. They're putting all of this together, okay, and they're realizing who you are, what this connection is, how deep this connection is, because th this is a this is a divine connection. Okay, they're realizing all of this. They're realizing who their enemies actually are. This these those are the people they've been listening to. Um, yeah, they let other people lead their life. They're realizing all that they missed out on. Um, they're realizing the kind of future you're going to have without them. Yeah, this is like a crashing tower moment. Yeah, other people had them under all these illusions, okay? I feel like these are the people that they listen to, right? The same people that they um, want to, like, defend themselves against now, okay? I feel they're they're feeling very lied to. They're feeling suckered out of a out of a intense connection, an important connection in their life. They feel betrayed. Okay, but here's the thing: this person had a choice. They they could have followed their own intuition, um, but instead they chose to take the advice of everybody else. Okay, now they want to get back together with you. Now they want to change things around, but I feel like that door is shut. Okay, and with the Wheel of Fortune now turning, it's turning in your favor, Collective, and you're moving on. You may um, be meeting somebody new, somebody who's also, um, this new person could also be very spiritual, have some hidden knowledge, um, some really intense abilities as well. Yeah, that door is shut. This is also like a marriage card too. So somebody here is getting married. Not for everyone though. That's very specific, I think. I'm just seeing you moving on. And I see good things happening for you in your life right now. Abundance, success, new doors of opportunity are going to be opening for you here. You're going places in your future. That's what your real focus is, is on your abundance. If you have your own business, you're focused on your business. You're focused on growing your bank account. You're focused on all the new things that are opening up for you, okay? And I feel like all of this is coming in really fast. I'm just feeling this fast energy. Yeah, here comes someone new. I'm telling you, someone new is coming into your life. And uh, if you haven't already met them, this new person, it could very well lead to a marriage and a commitment in the future. But yeah, you're about to meet someone new. And this person from your past, they want to come in and apologize now, but you're... I feel like you don't want to talk to them or you could have them blocked. They could be trying to call you, okay, call you, text you, but you don't want to see or talk to this person anymore. 
Okay, you don't trust their little apology anymore. Yeah, it's almost like they're too late. They're just too late. Collective. They're playing that song in my head again, though. One, two, three, lock box. Like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, I, I feel like, uh, I just feel like they're realizing this divine connection and they're stuck in their head. They're stuck. They are going to be stuck in their mind about you, I feel, for the rest of their days. Watching you move on to new love. Yeah, look, feeling like an absolute fool. This person knows who you are. They know who you are. Okay? Um, they know you're the empress. They know you're a divine being. This person is getting some kind of clarity. Okay? Um, yeah, and they're feeling like they were suckered. They are feeling like they were duped out of this connection. They feel like they, um, they're feeling stupid. They're feeling very dumb for missing out on an empress. This is like the best thing ever, <laughs> you know? They're never going to be able to find another you. You're every queen in the deck. And I don't know, there was a group of people that were against you. They could have even, this group that tried to, um, that got this person to walk away from you, this group could even be intimidated by you because you've got this very powerful energy coming out with the Empress. Okay, they didn't want you together for whatever reason. And now this person feels like a sucker. They do. Because they've put all the puzzle pieces together now. They know what this connection is. They know who you are. They know that you're the blessing. And they lost you. Maybe somebody's been listening to that song, One, Two, Three, Lock, Box. Oh, I never did like that song, I gotta say. So I'm sorry I don't know all the words to it. Um... I don't know. Look up the song. There, there may be a hidden message in that song for you. Look up the lyrics, okay? Yeah, look. This person is stuck on you. And this is them pretty much being locked up in their head thinking about you in a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. They're wishing they would have never walked away from you. I'm telling you. There's, with this clarity... Um, I'm, this clarity, this realization, it's hitting them hard. Okay. It's hitting them hard. They're up all night. This person's not sleeping. I don't think they can eat either. There's something about their stomach. They're, they're not sleeping. They're not eating. They're feeling sick over this, uh, feeling completely suckered out of an empress and a, and a lot of abundance and a lot of success and future wealth. And I mean, yeah, they were duped. They should have never listened to that group of people. They should have listened to their intuition. And now I feel like you're about to move on. There's someone new coming in or you could already be in an engagement with someone else. Okay. All right, what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Divinely led. I, I'm feeling like this person is realizing this, um, this. This is being divinely led. They're realizing this connection, okay? So maybe spirit could be giving them information in their sleep, showing them visions, this person, they could also be praying to God, please give me another chance. This is somebody who's being repentant, okay, saying they're sorry. They're praying to God saying they're sorry they missed out on that chance, but if they were given another chance, they would do right by you, okay? Yeah, please give me another chance to make this right. This is wanting to give you an apology. This is wanting to extend an olive branch. Wanting to change things around. They're praying to God, okay, for assistance, for um, 
intervention. Yeah, they're praying to God. I'm, I cannot make it up. Please don't let me lose my empress. Please don't let me lose the empress. Please just give me one more chance. I will defend the empress. I'll stand up for the empress. I'll do whatever it takes to get the empress back. Yeah, this person's praying for you. Like right now, I feel like this is current energy. Yeah, you're happy. You're happy. You know, here's the thing. This You're moving on because being in stagnancy was like depleting your energy, okay? It was, um, not only were you bored with this, but like waiting around for someone else to make a decision and decide to do the right thing, it was draining, okay? You were becoming exhausted by thinking about this person all the time. And I feel like you've made a release here. You're closing out a cycle with the 10. And you are happy, happy on your own. Okay? Yeah, it felt like this. Oh, never-ending story. Oh, you know? <laughs> like, when will this end? Are they coming back? Are they not coming back? But I feel like you're putting an end to, to this yourself. Um, another 10. So there's a cycle that's definitely closing out. That door is shutting on this person. Um, I feel like spirit is showing them some things right now. So maybe that door is like left open just to crack, but they don't have much time left. If they want to make something right with you, this person's, they better, they better get a move on. They better hurry up. Yeah, because I feel like, yeah. And as I say that time is up. I'm telling you, they don't have something about time. They don't have time to just twiddle their thumbs on this, okay? They need to come in and do something about it if they want another chance or if they want to speak their truth. Otherwise, I feel like you're about to get somebody new, okay? Someone who will be loyal to you, dedicated devoted yeah and you're in the process of releasing this past connection right now you're giving it up to god and spirit is about to bless you with a new connection okay in its place so this person from your past they're about to be replaced they know it they better they better hurry up if they want to make something right Okay, that's what this is. That's what Spirit's telling them here. Yeah, because you're about to get a new connection. Give me one more. Yeah, they need to bring fairness to the situation. They need to balance the scales. And if they do not do this in time, Spirit is sending you someone new because that's fair. You deserve love. You're lovable. You deserve love. You deserve respect, consideration, and somebody who's going to be dedicated to your connection. So, um, yeah, if this person doesn't get their act together, they're going to be done. You're going to be moving forward and into a whole new life. Okay? You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Aries, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. And this person from your past, they're going to be left behind. Yes, they've realized a lot. Yes, they're, they're going through an awakening right now. They're figuring everything out. Spirit is putting the puzzle pieces together for them. And they're doing a lot of praying. Okay, um, but yeah, they're, you're, you're starting a new cycle. You're closing out that last cycle and starting a new one. So I feel like this person is late. I feel like they're, they're too late, okay? But 
I don't know, man. Spirit is leading this person to do the right thing. Okay. Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates, you guys. Um, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. Yay. Subscribe to my channel. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.